Good morning, friends. How's everybody doing today? Coming at you with naked nails. I gotta do some cuticle work. I've done a little over here. I don't even have my base stuff. I only have my base stuff on my thumbs because today we are just going to do the prep work for the geo geo nails that we're gonna do live um, tomorrow in the Sassy Crew. So Sassy Crew will be linked below. Let me adjust this just a little. Get you guys a little bit taller up. There we go. Um, but the thing with the geo nails, you guys, in order to get that look, you have to have lots and lots of layers. So, and to make those layers strong enough to deal with what they're going to have to deal with, I want to do them the day before so that they can really cure all the way through because I'm going to have two, four, six, seven layers, you guys. Um, and I know you're thinking, holy crap, that's going to be really thick, but I've got a few tips and tricks to show you as I put them down so that you can, um, if you decide to try it, you can think of it a few different ways. And you don't have to go that thick. This one's fantastic, you guys. And I'm going to um, seal these up, seal them back up as I go. You don't have to go with that many layers. You can go, um, you know, with like four or five. You do you. But the more layers you have, the more... Uh, dramatic it'll be I guess the more kind of punch it will have when you start working your way through it and showing off bits and pieces um, I've done this a couple times now and there were definitely some lessons learned that hopefully will help you guys out and probably the main thing I found is you know giving it time to cure up and doing this part in advance so I'm this one's blushing and flushing by the way I'm really trying to alternate the um, the bold and the not as bold if that makes sense so like I mean crantastic obviously nice and bold and rich and then blushing and flushing not as much uh, <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys something that's going to make you frustrated because you know that's my job here is to come tell you guys things that I've seen somewhere and they get stuck in my head and honestly it's only fair if they're stuck in your head too this is Fort Worth it So when this one was pretty popular, um, one of the gals had said, every time I see this, all I see is a vag, <laughs> is vagina. So it kind of got that, um, that little tagline with it, that it was a vagina nail. So one thing I hope to fix, <laughs> especially because you guys... I'm doing all like whites, pinks, reds. I mean, come on. Um, I hope to fix the way the way my geode is gonna look. I know you guys have seen them. I just need my Swiss Intel is my little tiny Swiss Intel packaging is getting very tiny, so I need to I needed another little plastic. Um one of the ways people do them is just to basically like make a little hole in type of deal and to me that is what looks most um most like a vagina so you know i'm hoping by not doing that style that it'll help a little bit because when you're using all um, you know, whites and pinks and such that's probably not really gonna help out the situation any. So there you go. Now you guys can also have that stuck in your head. 
because that's what I always think of. But nonetheless, you guys, this is a, the Geo Nail is beautiful. Swiss, just write in Swiss on there because that's plenty for me. I just need to know that it's not clear as day. And for those of you that saw that video know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, this one is the Valentine, one of the Valentine sets from this year, X's and O's. I think it's a lovely. Let's see here. And you guys are like, what in the mishmash heck are you doing? But you'll see. going to be super fun and it should be you know 100% cured up and ready to roll come tomorrow afternoon evening-ish 6 o'clock central so we'll call that evening-ish we'll be in the sassy crew if you want to join us and I know this isn't just an X and an O, but that's plenty for me to know what that set is. And then this is Love Shack, also Valentine's Day this year. I have a rough idea in my head, you guys, what I'm doing, but I don't know necessarily yet what I'm doing for the rest of my hand. I only have the thumb super planned out right now. And this is Midnight in Manhattan. big thumbs for that and then I have one more um, art set that is going to be somewhere in the other fingers on the rest of my hands but I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work yet I don't have a full plan I don't have a full plan I've still got time Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. All our million little sets. Off to the side. And we have to have a rough, like we've got to kind of alternate um, the darks and the lights a little bit. And I know for sure that I want the black on top, you guys because you want a flat cream color on top I think this is what I'm gonna do I think that's what I'm going to do okay so first I'm taking Crantastic and I am just snipping it in half. So, when you do this, you guys, it's like a V. Like, you'll show, you'll go wider at the top and more narrow at the bottom. So that means I don't need as much coverage on the whole bottom. Okay, so multiple, multiple reasons that I'm doing this like this. 
when I was trying to sort out the best way to show you guys what I was going to do. There we go. Um, so for one, I don't want to build up seven layers at the back of my nail, you guys. Even if that was literally just for a day, it would be horrible. I also don't want to build up seven layers on my tip of my nail. So, I know that I am planning on making my geode look be like kind of at an angle, a little wider and then narrower in and then wider out, or at least that's my um, intention. <laughs> that's how I'm going into it, you guys. Okay, so Crantastic's down. Um, so I thought, you know, I don't need this to cover everything because I'm not, it won't be showing everywhere. Also, you don't, the Crantastic is my very bottom layer and you don't really want to go to the bottom on all of them and you definitely don't want to break through your bottom. Whoops. Well... That's fine. It doesn't matter, you guys. This is not going to show to anything. I mean, it'll bits of it will show through the geode part of it, but it's not like anybody's going to be seeing what kind of a mess I've made on the layers going up. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, you don't want to go all the way to the bottom and end up grinding down your nail. Uh, I have seen people do it with a plain handheld filer takes a good amount of time um, my worry with the little handheld filer is you're not going to have enough control I'll be using one of the electric ones tonight when I show you guys I've tried it doing the handheld and I've tried it also doing the nail polish remover on a q-tip and it was like seven Sundays later that kind of situation so the electric for me works best okay so now we've got two and then we're coming in with X's and O's and I'm not going to my cuticle on that like I'm not going down all the way ooh that's pretty one I might wind up wanting more than one set of this, you guys. I'm not going all the way down on that one. And if you can kind of alternate your like light lights and darks, this one I will put away. That will help a lot too is alternating the lights and darks so there's good contrast between the layers for people to see them. Again, I didn't go down to the cuticle, you guys. I won't be using any top coat. I was going to try to figure out if I could... Um, If I could like hide some, you know, do a clear coat with like some of the chunky, chunky glitter in there. But then when I came up with these sets and it was like already seven sets, I figured I better not add any more to the mix, right? Okay. And you do want to try to keep things squished so that you're not leaving, like, you want to leave pockets of air in there or whatever. Let me get this up. Okay. And... This one is Fort Worth it. Get in there, you staticky little bug. Okay. 
And this one, I'm going at an angle. Again, not going down to my cuticle because that would be horrible to have that many layers back there. And this is definitely going to take a good bit to set up, you guys. Let me find. I would say this will be a good six or so hours before it's truly, truly set up, if you're wondering. When you're doing your geode one, you want to have, you want the, the hand you're cutting the geode out of, you want it to have time to get like as solid as it can. Okay, here's little love shack, love shack baby. Okay, I am actually going to trim off some of that like not as intensely glittered end not in any particular um you know fashion <laughs> doesn't have to be neat you guys it doesn't have to be neat the only thing that has to be neat is the top layer which for us is going to be midnight in manhattan And we do want that one to be neat even though we're gonna be like drilling into it so it probably doesn't even you know super matter how neat that is we that's pretty okay so let's talk about it look at that can you tell let me get it focused how much room I left down there quite a bit because I'm going to want to really like really seal that in if I can these will all go in a little packet maybe Okay, so now we're going to do Midnight in Manhattan, and this I'm going to try to do, like, my very best skills on, because I want that to be, I want it to look nice, even though, I mean, you know, I'm cutting that to fit my square nail bed. No matter what we do, you guys, there's going to be you know bumps and ridges but those are going to be camouflaged when we start digging this geode out you know what I mean so we want to kind of seal in this whole shebang And I'm not going to file this as much as it's going to make me bonkers. I'm not going to file it till right now it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So maybe right before, um, right before I take my shower and stuff tonight, then I will file it. But I don't want to mess up any of these layers. And you got to think about, you know, if everybody has, um, everybody... <laughs> Like, all my nails are named, you guys. If each layer has to set up 5% and I just put on, what, 7 layers? That's a lot that has to set up. 
and every single one of these felt beautifully fresh you guys each each layer did so um it's a lot it's a lot that has to set up and then i mean like i can feel that it's squashy i want to fix that one one little corner that's too squared Now if I turn it, you can see how much it's raised up. Quite a bit. And that's just how it's got to be for today. Okay. I mean, and really the only plans I have today is computer work I have to do. Um, and Mercy and I are going to get caught up on the last two episodes of This Is Us. So let's, let's square this one off a bit. So if you haven't joined the Sassy Crew and you want to um, see the live nail demos going on once a month, then join us over there. They are not uploaded here because I can't bring the chat with and that would just, you know, just look silly. It would be like I was, I mean, I do talk to myself in every video, you guys, but it would be a very weird one. Okay, so see this? I didn't quite get that down as far as I would want. So when I do the geode on this one, I'll start in this back corner and work this way to kind of camouflage that a little bit. And when I put my Peely base coat on, you guys, I use a um, Isle 21 peel-off base coat and then a quick dry top coat over the top of it and my nails easily go a week unless I choose for them not to go which I basically always choose it but I have tested it out and they will go a week and there's at least two videos on here talking about that process and showing that process but um I did go pretty heavy on the peely base when I put it on on this because it's <laughs> This is going to be the the best ever when I peel it off because there's so many stinking layers here. It'll look super cool. All right. There we are, you guys. Midnight in Manhattan. And then the rest will be hopefully something awesome tomorrow. All right. So join the Sassy Crew if you haven't, you guys. It is a super fun place to hang out. We... Um, we meaning me, I will be live tomorrow night, which is Friday, February 4th. It'll be 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Mountain, and 4 p.m. Pacific. So, if you want to come join in that fun, in the games and prizes and conversation with like-minded addicts, Please do so if you find yourself watching my videos um, often. Please hit the subscribe and the like. I would love to have you as part of my sassy, sassy ass community. That's what we are. So, hope everybody has a great day. There's a lot of videos loading up today, you guys. I got a lot done. And we'll see how these look tomorrow hopefully shrunk down a bit because they're built up like a good eighth of an inch or so <laughs> all right guys see you tomorrow